So Drawing to San Antonio today is an exhibition of contemporary drawing uh, from artists from the San Antonio area. There's 22 artists in the exhibition, all dealing with various lenses of production through the pandemic and post-pandemic. And what you're seeing is artworks that not only reiterate the, the known definition of drawing, but there's also artworks in the exhibition that challenge what a drawing is. And so I think that this exhibition establishes contemporary drawing, contemporary artists in San Antonio working in that medium, and also it pushes the boundaries of what a drawing can be. So the process was very collaborative, uh, working with Lyle Williams, um, who is the curator of prints and drawings and curator of modern art. This was my first experience working, uh, curating a show where I would have to work with another curator. Uh, so that created um, an opportunity to learn a lot about Lyle's style of curating shows and the type of artworks that he's looking for when he was thinking about contemporary drawing. And then me coming in as uh, the inaugural Douglas Foundation intern in curatorial studies, I had the opportunity to give him a new lens or a new perspective on what I thought contemporary drawing in San Antonio was. So in the beginning, it was kind of discussing our ideas, um, talking about what was important to us for this exhibition, and then finding that middle ground through studio visits and uh, the selection of artworks. We completed um, several studio visits, and during the process, we were just looking at artworks that were made during the pandemic and the, the final result post-pandemic. And we were looking for conversations that were happening in artist studios that maybe hadn't, artworks that haven't been seen or things that haven't been talked about in, uh, since most galleries and exhibitions were shut down. So this was an opportunity to kind of open the doors again to like the local arts community and have the opportunity for artists who maybe haven't shown at a museum to have an exhibition. San Antonio is one of the more uh, collaborative communities that I've been a part of as an artist or as a curator. When we were selecting artists, um, a lot of the artists that we were having visits with would recommend other artists that we were already considering. So that shows that people are kind of looking out for each other. I know it is competitive to have a show in an art museum, but that I think that just speaks to letting the work talk. Um, so that's why anybody who they wanted us to consider, we tried to have the opportunity to visit with them, to have a conversation and to see if the work fit the show. This is the artist Humphrey K. Rogers. He is a San Antonio-based artist for now. Uh, he'll be leaving for Oklahoma soon. He just recently graduated with his MFA in studio art from UTSA. Um, his work is very interesting to me because it deals with identity, but the, the lack thereof. And so what you're looking at are drawings of a movie, Back to the Future 3. And if you've watched the movie, if you pay close attention, you'll notice that there are no representations of African-American in the entire film. And so Humphrey decided that he would implement himself using portraiture and drawing as his medium to investigate those type of ideas of lack of identity, lack of presence. And so he created drawings that represented himself and the lack thereof of black people in the movie Back to the Future 3. Through Christy Blizzard's work, she uses digital drawing tools uh, to create, to make animations. So for me, anything that creates a line can be considered a drawing, even if it's a digital line. But for me, having something like a video, which is time-based, it just expands upon ideas of contemporary tools, contemporary drawing, so this is Vicki Jones. Vicki Jones was one of my professors at UTSA when I was an undergrad. She deals mostly in found popular culture, images of found popular culture. Mostly these deal with Disney princesses. And so I would say that she's using Disney, or she's using images of Disney characters as a way to deal with identity or maybe even self-portraiture our portraiture of like family, because this is her grandmother here, the queen. She's using Disney and she's using images from Disney to represent herself and her family and ideas that she has about sexuality, consumption. So these are hand drawn, but the way she works is kind of similar to a collage. For this thesis of the exhibition, it, it was based off of another museum's idea of opening up their doors to local artists. So for, for me, I think the thesis is like the main idea of the exhibition, 
what do you want to have a discussion about? And for this exhibition, it's contemporary drawing and how to push those boundaries or push those limits on what a drawing can be or what a drawing can be considered. There are works that you would recognize as just, you know, drawings, but there are works here that might, you might not even consider a drawing and that's opening up a conversation is what we ultimately became interested in.